Hi everyone, my name is Henry Reyes and today I'm going to be talking about the adolescent social development stage. Um, there are many subjects that touch on this particular one, but today we're only going to be focusing on three, which is basically the adolescent's peer relations um, peer relationships. Uh, we're also going to be talking about um, the, the adolescent's subculture awareness and we're going to be talking about the adolescent's search for identity within a group or a clique. Um, and today we're going to be interviewing three individuals, um, different genders and also different ages so we can get a little bit more um, about how a young adolescent thinks and then how the like an older adolescent thinks as well. So the first topic or subject that we're going to be talking about is the peer relationships to topic and basically what this is covering is when adolescents um, are now hanging out with friends or with peers from school wherever they um, may be from um, and basically trying to um, conform to what their friends do maybe because their activities are fun or because they like to hang out with friends they socialize much more than they did when as when they were with children um, you're going to be finding out that many of these teenagers actually prefer to spend more time with um with uh their other teenage friends instead of with siblings or with family basically um hi my name is Apollo and i'm gonna be um a senior this year and i'm currently 17 years old Osvaldo, would you say that you prefer to prefer to hang out with your parents or siblings or with your friends? Um, I'd prefer to hang out with my friends. Why? Because, I don't know, I could just be myself around them. It's just more fun being okay. with them. And then would you say that you have some best friends or that you have, or you've, you have that individual that you've grown very attached to? No, I don't have no best friends. Um, do you have anyone that you consider a friend that you can rely on or trust? No. Okay. Uh, let's say your friends are into sports or TV shows, right? Would you watch the same shows as them in order to conform to what they watch? Uh, no, usually I'm just friends with people that, I'm, uh, that we already have the same interests. So, like, let's say if we do like the same show, then, you know, we just talk about that. So, soy Salas, and I'm 17 years old. What's that? What grade are you in? Um, going to be a senior in high school. Okay, I'm gonna ask a couple of questions, okay? Alright. Um, would you say that you prefer hanging out with your parents or your siblings, or would you rather hang out with a group of friends your age? A group of friends my age? Why? It's just easier to relate to. In what way? And like, on a daily basis, like, they have similar likings as you. Okay. Would you say that you have some best friends or that you have that one friend that you've grown very attached to or would you consider yourself someone that doesn't have um, best friends? Um, I would say that I guess I do have close friends but yeah I'd say they're best friends. The second subject or topic that we're going to be talking about is when adolescents become aware that they're no longer children, that um, they, they choose not to play with children or interact with children as much as they used to. Why? Because now they're transitioning from the child phase into the teen um, stage and basically this stage is when they start figuring out who they want to be, who they are, uh, the sense of identity um, and they basically start making more connections with teenagers around their age. This is also referred to as the teenager subculture. Um, in the lecture, we learned that many girls, when asked um, what they talked on the phone, many of them said that it was either about, um, let's say, peer relationships or about uh, emotional things that they're going through. So uh, let's ask these uh, teenagers what they think about this, um, these questions. Hi, my name is Lillian Gonzalez and I'm 13 years old. Okay, Lillian, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. So would you rather go outside and play with 10 year old kids or would you rather go to the movies with friends your age? I'd rather go to the movies with friends my age because they get me. And because if I tell jokes they'll understand me and they're more fun. Okay. Um, would, you spend, would you say that you spend a lot, of, a lot of time on your phone? Yes. And when you are on your phone, like for example, like on Snapchat or Facebook, do you say you communicate much more with your friends or with um, your parents? My friends, because I could communicate and have actually have a conversation with them. Okay. 
Let's take a look at this clip from Mean Girls and basically what it's letting us know is that sometimes us adults or sometimes us um, teenagers believe that there are actual groups in high schools or middle schools that identify themselves as jocks or cheerleaders or band geeks, uh, you name it. Here, this map is going to be your guide to North Shore. Now, where you sit in the cafeteria is crucial because you got everybody there. You got your freshmen, ROTC guys, preps, JV jocks, Asian nerds, cool Asians, varsity jocks, unfriendly black hotties, girls who eat their feelings, girls who don't eat anything, desperate wannabes, burnouts, sexually active band geeks, the greatest people you will ever meet, and the worst. Beware of the plastic. The third and final subject that we're going to be discussing about today is a very common one and it's one that I think all of us can relate to and it's basically the stage where an, a teenager has to go through um, to find their identity within a group or a clique and basically when you see this the most is when a teenager is in high school or in middle school and they try to hang out with uh, that certain group that they like or that they can identify the most with. As a teenager in your school, would you say that you hang out with a lot of cheerleaders or with popular kids or not popular kids? It depends. Sometimes I'm with the popular kids or the geeks. Why? Because the popular kids get me. In what way do they get you? With everything. With everything. everything. Like the, the subjects that you guys talk about. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you, Lillian. You're welcome. That's why. Right. Do you believe it's important for teenagers to try to fit in with um, a certain group or a certain clique? For example, fitting in with the popular kids or the unpopular kids? Nah. No? Why not? Because, like, then you mess yourself up. You're not being yourself. You're not being yourself? Okay. Yeah. Um, are you involved in any of these groups at all? No. No? Okay. As a teenager in your school, would you say that you would identify as a jog, a dance member, a nerd, a cheerleader, a bandy? How would you identify yourself with a clicker group? I don't identify myself with anyone. Um, I'm actually pretty much an outsider. I don't hang out with any particular group. Um, I want to say I'm a loner. I just, I feel like I'm different from everyone else. Um, like I don't get caught up with everyone else's drama. I mean, I get along with everyone, but nah, I don't really hang out with anyone from school. And then also, would you say that, um, if, do you see these cliques or these groups in your school? Like, for example, do you see a crowd of cheerleaders, a crowd of football uh, football players, or a crowd of um, nerds hanging out? Or do you see this today in high school? Um, yeah, you do. You know, you see all like the football guys together. Um, you do see all the cheerleaders together, too. Um, you see like all the uh, geeks, I guess you could say, together, like they would be playing Pokemon or whatever, I don't know. So when talking about all these different types of topics, um, we have to take into consideration that every teen will always have their own opinion and will have a different way of thinking than every other teen. Um, as we saw in the video, Lillian, uh, the 13 year old, said that she would actually um, say that she would hang out more with the popular kids than with the unpopular kids. As for Osvaldo, which he is much older, 17 years old, doesn't believe that there's actual like cliques or anything anymore. He would identify himself or he would say that he would rather be an outcast or something. Um, so basically what he's saying is that he wouldn't be categorized himself as um, a nerd or a fan geek or a jock or anything like that. Um, but like I said, we always have to keep into consideration that every team is different, their answers will always be different, and their way of thinking will always be different. So just to sum up everything that we discussed about, um, basically um, we all have to, um, not acknowledge, but we all have to come to the realization that every teenager is going to go through a stage where they make these connections with other teens basically to find a sense of identity or basically to build relationships and it's normal in every teenager. We're also going to see that many teenagers are going to um, are going to be pressured or are going to um, be influenced by the peer relationships that they have and they're always going to be trying to conform to um, 
to society or conform to the norm or basically what their friends influence them to do in order to have a sense of self-worth or a sense of importance. Um, so thank you for watching everyone and I hope you guys all learned something here.